Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready for some base two subtraction? Let's begin. So we can quickly see that this is an eight and a two. So eight plus two, that is a 10. So a one and a zero. And the bottom is just a four. So this is saying like a 10 minus four. I'm gonna put a little dotted line down here so we can separate that. Now, we can see just with our eyes, because we've been doing base 10 our whole lives, that 10 minus four is six. But the real question is, how can we take four from zero and have a technique that works over here in base two? Well, instead of me like giving six so easily, let me show you the steps that were involved here. So the first thing I have to say is, how can I borrow from here and bring it over to even work with this? So what I do is I, take this and I say, okay, you're actually zero plus a 10. Now you just gotta work with me, and see how this works. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this 10 over into this column. And now I got a 10 there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 10 minus this number. And what does that give me? Well, that gives me six. And then I say, whatever this number is plus this number, that is what I'm going to put down here. So zero plus six is six. See, that's gone. So zero, that's how we got six. Now let's use this same technique over here, just like this, identical. So we see zero minus zero, well, that's zero. One minus zero is one. Now zero minus one, we, don't, we can't do that. So what do we need to do? We need to do that borrow. Now watch what happens. So I'm gonna cross this out. And now what do I put up here? So that's zero plus what number? Well, what's my base? My base is two. Now, just like that, I've gotta move my base over. So I move my base over and that's a two. So then I come down and I say this number minus this number. And what do we get? What's two minus one? Well, that equals one. Now one plus this number is one. So that's one. Then you're gone. And then we just bring down our zero. And then you can clearly see a four and a two is six and six and six, that's equal. So this technique works. Now we're gonna go a little faster, a bigger problem. And let's see if all this makes sense. Now in this example, we can clearly see that this is an eight minus two, which gives us six. Now let's just solve this in binary using the technique that we just learned. So zero minus zero, well, that's simple, that's zero. Now we have zero minus one, no good. So we come over to the next column. We say, can we borrow from you? No, I don't have anything to give. So we have to come to the next column. So we have to like cross this out and actually say zero plus two. Now you just learned all I need to do is take this and bring this to the next column. So I put a two here. Now let's come back to this. I say zero minus one. Can I do that? Can I come up here and borrow? Can I borrow? Oh yeah, they got two over here. So what do I do? When I want to borrow one from here, I just cross this out, make that a one, and then bring over a two. So what is two minus one? That's one plus this, so that's one. And then we have a one minus a zero, that is a one. And then a zero minus zero is zero. Now can you see that a eight minus a two is six? And that's what we got here. That's all that is. Let's look at the next question. So here is our next and last question. So we have one zero 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 minus this number on the bottom. So on the top, we can see that this is 32. And on the bottom, we can see that this is 10, 11. So what is 32 minus 11? Well, that's 21, we can see that. Now, how do we solve this? Okay, so let's just use the blue pen. So I come to the rightmost column and I say, can we take one away from zero? And the answer is no. So we have to look at the next column to see if we can borrow. Can we borrow? Nope, 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 
nope, and yes. I can borrow all the way over here. Now we're gonna use that same same technique we just learned. So I'm gonna cross this out and I'm gonna say zero, whatever that number is, just set track one, and that's one zero plus two. So this number minus one is zero two. Now I need to bring this two over to the next column. So I'm gonna come over here and now you're a two there. And you're gone here. So this column right here is zero on the top. Now, so I can keep this readable, I'm going to remove all this now. So we, we figured that out, we got our number, and now we know it's zero. We know this is two. Now the question is, can I still on this column, where do I borrow? Well, I borrow from this two. Now remember, just like in this column, I took this number minus one. So I come up here and I say one plus two. So take this number minus one, so you're gone now. And now the number is one plus two. Now take this two over here. Good, all right, excellent. So, so far this is pretty easy, right? So this comes down here and this is actually just a one now, right? I'm just gonna bring that one down. And I'm just gonna keep doing that same technique all the way over. So for me to get this over to one, I have to subtract this by one so that's now that's a one plus two, you're gone. And now I'm gonna bring that two over. And then I'm gonna do all that erasing. So we know this is just gonna be one now and you're all gone. And I'm gonna do it again. That's gonna be a one plus two and you're gone. And I'm gonna take this over here. So we already know what this is gonna look like. So this right here is a one, right? We're gonna erase all this. And now let's do it for the last time. So on the last time, what we're gonna say is, okay, borrow one from here. So that's actually a one plus a two. And then take the two over here to this column. And now we got a two there. And let's come do some erasing. And what we have there is just a one. Okay, and that's a two. So we just did a whole lot of borrowing. And now we can solve this problem. What is two minus one? Well, that's one. And what is one minus one? That's zero. And then what is one minus zero? That's one. And then what is one minus one? That's zero. Then what's one minus zero? That's one. And what's zero minus zero is zero. Now look at our thing here. We have a 16, a four, that's 20 plus one is 21. So 21, 21, guess what? It, the technique works. You've got it. If you have any questions or comments about subtracting binary, please leave a question below. And if this technique works for you, if you could also leave a comment so other people know that yes, this technique works, I'd appreciate that. Thanks a lot. We'll see you back in my next video. Take care.